Welcome to Wizard in School. So Woodland School is a school for pupils who have complex learning needs, um, complex medical and health needs. Um, children range from ages 2 up to 19. We are a school but it's so much more than education going on here. The teachers um, have always been amazing. I'm very, very lucky at the moment that we've had one teacher for the last few years. She makes him work hard, which is a good thing, you know, I mean that's why we sent him to school, you know. So he has um, made a, a lot of academic progress. My name. What's your name? Nidhi. Why do you like woodlands? I do. Why? Because I do. They come in with a bounce and a spring in their step, uh, waving hello when they can, saying, sign and good morning. It is such a celebration of difference. If you've seen them progress, through the lower school to the upper school and then get ready to transition on to, um, to whatever they're doing post-19. You know, you have really high hopes and aspirations for them in the future. You don't quite know at what moment something's going to suddenly click and a child's just going to have that moment where they go, wow, I can do it, I can spell my name, I can do these things. Does it Woodlands make you feel happy or sad or...? Happy! You're going to write happy. happy. What does happy begin with? H. That's it, good girl. What's next? H A. Happy. P. Yay! Again, then, where's the P? Yeah. Yeah. Feel happy. <laughs> All the lessons are differentiated. There are different behaviours, there are obviously lots of different conditions within the same classes. So there is a, a plan overall for say you're doing a particular topic, but then each child will have their own goals and their own way of accessing that. I think here at Woodlands we are very good at making learning look like play. What are you doing spooky maths? Spooky counting. Go on then, show us. One, two, three. Children may leave going, wow, that was really good, we had a lovely playtime. But actually what they've done is they've been dividing things or they've been sharing them out or they've been counting things in their play. And so it's, it's learning that's really well hidden. Ben's progression at Woodland since he's been here has been absolutely amazing. Um, every time we see a specialist, she basically sits back in his chair and says, what's he getting up to? Because he's completely re rewritten the rule book for his particular condition. Me, Emma and Oms went to Beachwood and we learned all about rainforest. We watched about it. We have a really strong emphasis on communication for all pupils and we have a, use a range of different communication systems um, to make sure that each ch child has the, a voice by the time they leave school. Um, we have lots of input from speech and language therapists and all of our teachers are really highly trained in communication systems and encourage communication for all. You've seen children's personalities appear because their communication has improved so much. Um, in whatever form that is, whether it's with a pod book, uh, with the eye gaze, but actually you really get to know who they are um, and their characters, which is fabulous and uh, really nice. You can't assume that because they don't communicate verbally, they haven't got anything to say. All of our children have got a great deal to say and it's just finding a communication method that is appropriate for them. So they're always thinking ahead too in terms of what Paul will need for later life and ways he can communicate. What's your favourite lesson? I have favourite maths. Why is maths your favourite? Uh, uh, Love it. Yeah. We've just built a new early years playground um, to provide some sensory stimulation but also uh, mobility exercises for the kids which is fabulous. What are you doing for you? Yeah, you run do, it. you run, don't you? Wow. We try to encourage people to engage in activities that they could follow up on once they leave school. For instance, setting up links with local clubs and, and communities. Where did you go with Elsa? We go skiing. We go skiing in Italy. I'm very grateful to the school for taking her on lots of trips outside of school that I perhaps wouldn't have had the courage to take her to. And we will try our best to help cater for what the parents' needs are as well as the child's. We ensure that all of the children get um, 
all of the opportunities possible to overcome any limitations that they may have. We have open expectations, so you know we aim high for every child and we don't put limits on any, any child's ability. Um, all children have access to a full communication system and um, are taught literacy and numeracy um, in the way that suits them best. Sarah and Rosie are my best teachers. Why do you like them? Because they're my best teachers. Why are they so good? Because they're lovely. It's our job to find a way for them to be able to do things and that's, that's what we're here for. That's why we come every day and that's why we choose to be here. I think it's such a daunting world when you have a child with special needs, but actually, yeah, you feel that you're not alone. It's just a wonderful relief and a sort of release from the parental pressures to have your child go to an outstanding school. Come and have a look around. Come and talk to the children that are here already. You can see the different devices that are used for communication. You can see all the different equipment that we have. Um, and you'll see that the children are happy, and that's most of all, that's the important thing. We need to go with mm. thousands of mm. smelling goods. I don't know if we're in this school.